A 55 kilogram bungee jumper stands on a bridge 48 meters above the raging river below. The bungee cord is 20 meters unstretched. The jumper wants to just barely miss the water. What is the spring constant for the bungee cord, assuming Hooke's law is obeyed? And what is the maximum acceleration reached by the jumper in G's? The first thing we should point out is that this is a typical problem encountered with springs in which we apply Hooke's law. First step, draw the picture. Here's a bungee jumper and the unstretched cord would be of length 20 meters long. The bungee jumper himself is 48 meters above the water below. That leaves a distance here stretched of some 28 meters. Now, the first thing we think about in this is how would we solve this problem? Always think about energy and think about the fact that the total energy at the top must equal the total energy at the bottom. In both cases, the total energy is the kinetic plus the potential energy. So here's a kinetic plus potential energy at the top. Here is a kinetic plus potential energy at the bottom. If we notice when we start, the kinetic energy at the top is zero because he's not moving. Similarly, at the bottom, the kinetic energy right at the very bottom is also zero. So we're left with the fact that the, kinetic, the potential energy at the top is equal to the potential energy at the bottom. The potential energy at the top is mgh, which h would, of course, just be the total height. The potential energy at the bottom, which we learned from Hook, applying Hooke's law, is one-half kx squared, where x is the distance that the bungee is stretched, which in this case is 28 meters. Now we want to solve for k, so we have k is equal to 2mgh over x squared. Now we put in the numbers. We have then the spring constant is 2 times the mass, which is 55 kilograms, times g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, times the height, which is the total height of 48 meters. All of that divided by the x, which is the amount the bungee cord was stretched, squared. And this would be in meters squared. When we multiply this out, we get 66.0, but let's look at the units. We have kilogram, meter squared, second squared, divided by meter squared, and we wind up with kilograms per second squared. But let's multiply on the top and bottom by a meter, and so we would have a meter on top and a meter on bottom. We could cancel those out, but we don't want to because a kilogram meter per second squared is a newton and we leave the meters on bottom and we get the spring constant in the units we want at 66.0 newtons per meter. Now let's answer question B. What is the maximum acceleration of the jumper expressed in units of the gravitational constant? Well, first let's find out the maximum acceleration. As long as the bungee jumper is jumping and he's in free fall, he continues to fall at an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. Nothing changes, so that is constant. Once he gets to the end of the bungee cord, right before he hits the river, the bungee cord accelerates him upward with a force. That force is equal to, of course, from Hooke's Law, Kx. And let's make that positive since it's upward. But we also have the weight pushing down, so we have mg pushing down. So kx is pushing up, the weight, mg, is pushing down, and that must be equal to the force. Well, from Newton's second law, the force is the mass times the acceleration. So the mass times the acceleration must be kx minus mg. Divide both sides by m, and we get the acceleration to be kx over m minus g, since the m's would cancel out in this case. 
So then the acceleration becomes the spring constant, 66.0 newtons per meter, multiplied by x, which is 28 meters, because x now is the distance that we're falling here, not the total height, divided by the mass, which is 55 kilograms, all of that minus g. And that turns out to be 23.8 meters per second. But the question said, what is that in multiples of g? Now recall that that's already subtracting g. But in multiples of g, we have to divide 23.8 meters per second squared divided by 9.8 meters per second squared, and we get an answer of 2.43 g's. So as the bungee jumper reaches the end of his cord and begins to accelerate back up, his maximum acceleration is 2.43 g's. This is a typical problem in spring constants where we have to use our knowledge before of total energy conservation and of Newton's second law to put those together with Hooke's law.